Happy Monday, everyone. Amen. God is so good. He's so wonderful. He's so kind. It's, it's good to be alive. <laughs> hey, Christy, how are you? God bless you. Amen. Amen. Today is a good day. God is so awesome. He's so powerful. You know, a lot of people hate Mondays. Hey, Teresa, how are you? A lot of people hate Mondays, but every day that God allows us to wake up. Hello, Daniel. How are you? Good morning. Every day that God allows us to wake up is a blessing. Let me turn this down. Amen. Amen. So I want to pray. Hello, Thomas. How are you? I want to pray today. We're going to believe God for miracles. I'm going to tell you what happened. So I was um, at this church and the pastor asked, he says, who in this congregation need a miracle? So of course, over 85% of us, me included, <laughs> raised our hands. So he was like, well, we're going to pray. But he said, I got to teach you how not to always be in a position for a miracle. So when he said that, you know, I started thinking like, what's wrong with that? So as I, hello Bobby, how are you? So as I was, you know, thinking and like, okay, what's wrong with asking a miracle or needing a miracle? And I, I started studying. And so the word miracle, hello Randolph, how are you? The word miracle is, according to, I don't know how to pronounce this word, Wikipedia or Wikipedia. It says, a miracle is an event not explicable by natural or scientific laws. So I said to myself, if that's the case, then a miracle, hello Yolanda, how are you? A miracle is an awesome thing because when God do something that science can't explain or naturalness cannot explain, you can't give it to nobody but God. So in my opinion, Every day is a miracle. There's nothing wrong with miracles. So that's what we're going to pray. So I want you to share this video. Uh, we're going to come together in faith. Hello, Jasper. How are you? We're going to come together in faith. We're going to believe God. We're going to pray for the miracles. Now, before we do that, I did some studying. To me, the chapter of Math, um, Matthew, chapter 8, is a book of miracles. And... We're going to see several miracles performed in this one chapter. Matthew 8, 1 through 3. When he had come down from the mountain, great multitudes followed him. And behold, a leper came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Then Jesus put out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing, be cleansed. Immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Verses 5 to 7. Now when Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion, a centurion came to him, pleading with him, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home, paralyzed, dreadfully tormented. Hey, classmate. Dreadfully tormented. And Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. Verses 14 to 15. Now when Jesus had come into Peter's house, he saw his wife's mother lying sick with a fever. So he touched her hand and the fever left her. She arose and served them. Verses 13 through 17. We're talking about miracles. This is one chapter. Hello, Daniel. This is one chapter where we're seeing a lot of miracles take place. Verses 13 through 17. Now when he got into a boat, his disciples followed him. And suddenly a great tempest arose on the sea so that the boat was covered with the waves. But he was asleep. Then his disciples came to him and woke him, saying, Lord, save us. We are perishing. But he said to them, Why are you so fearful, O you of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. So the men marveled, saying, Who can this be that even the winds and the sea obey him? Last one, verses 28 to 31. When he had come to the other side, to the country of Genesis, there met him two demon-possessed men coming out of the tombs exceedingly fierce so that no one could pass that way. And suddenly they cried out saying, What have we to do with you, Jesus, you son of God? Have you come here to torment us before our time? Now, 
a good way off from them, there was a herd of many swine feeding. So the demons begged him, saying, If you cast us out, permit us to go away into the swine. And Jesus said, Be gone. We see five different miracles. And those who just joining on, I was explaining earlier that I was at this service and this pastor was saying, We should not be in a position to need a miracle. And I said, Why not? A miracle is an unexplained event, occurrences that medical science can't um, explain it, scientific laws can't explain it, and even all naturalists can't explain it. So when these things happen to me, only God gets the glory of that event. So I'm praying every day for a miracle to happen in your life so you can say to God be the glory because he's the only one that I know could have done this for me. The five miracles in this chapter is the leper was killed, the paraplegic I never knew how to pronounce that word, paralegic was healed, that spike fever was healed, and now we don't know, studies do not show us what her temperature was, but we do know, and I'm sure some medical people on the line now, we do know that it's more dangerous for an adult to have a high spike temperature than a child, so that means she was in a critical state, we see a her. the Bible says, Study says that when God, when Jesus spoke to the winds and the wave, that it was a hurricane at a category five. Now, I'm from Florida, and I've been in two hurricanes, and that's the scariest thing that you could ever be part of. And all he did was speak to it, and immediately the winds and the waves ceased, and the sea was at a calm. That was a miracle. So I want you, whatever you believe in God for, and you feel like, you know what, Eunice, I know that this can happen for me, but I just feel like it's going to take a miracle for it to happen. I'm going to pray with you, and I want you to pray along with me. I want you to just, whatever you feel like God has put on your heart to believe God for, even if it's not for you. Hello, Sherman, how are you? Even if the miracle is not for you, you know someone that's in need of a miracle. Let's pray. Let's pray. We have so many people on the line that's praying with us. I believe God can do it. And one of the things I'm bringing forth is my um, friend. Her um, son is very sick. The doctor is saying there's nothing else that they can do. I told her that God will go beyond medical um, law. And he will do it. So that's what I'm believing God for. So let's just, just pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we worship you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We believe in you, God. We put no trust in others and no other. We do not put our trust in medical science, even though we know you use medical science. We do not put our trust in the doctors, even though we know that you will use the doctors. We do not put our trust in banks, stocks, or any other type of income, even though we know you can use this. Our trust and our belief, God, is only in you. We set you higher than everything we could ever think of because you are our God. You are supreme and you are sovereign. So let's just begin to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for this day. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. Father, we declare that a miracle that needs to take place among our lives, we declare it to be so now in the name of Jesus. Whether you need a miracle in healing, whether you need a miracle in your finance, whether you need a miracle in your family, a miracle on your job, today in the name of Jesus, we call it forth now. We say manifestation of miracles happen right now. Miracles, signs, and wonders we declare will follow us and we will be that testimony that God is able, hallelujah, to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that's at work in us. Lord, we declare a miracle over that child. Yes, someone says that child will never walk. Well, we speak to those legs and we say walk in the name of Jesus. Somebody is looking at that student that is constantly failing, saying that they will never be successful. Well, we say the miracle of mine is upon that child now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Lord, we pray for Bashar. Pray for your son Franklin in the name of Jesus. That exam, Lord, we say that
that they will go forth and be, it will be a success. Lord, the wisdom for that success, we pray on them now. And Lord, from there, they will say, to God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus. So Lord, we thank you for it now in Jesus' name. We believe that you are the God of miracles. And Lord, your word said if one could put a thousand to fight, two could put 10,000 to fight. So together we're praying for each other in the name of Jesus. That which the enemy declare is over. I speak a miracle to that situation. That which your family say will never happen. I speak a miracle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I speak a miracle and say that it will happen to that daughter that says that she will never be much because she's a prostitute. I speak a miracle that you are a woman of value, that you are a woman of many resources. I call it forth now in the name of Jesus, that child that you feel is failing and will not make it that's being disobedient and that's being just contrary i speak to that child and i say it's a miracle of obedience that is happening to that child in the name of jesus do not give up i rebuke the spirit of suicide this will not take you out this is not the end of you god got a plan for you hallelujah and it will come forth in the name of Jesus, if you need that miracle, I say that God is the God of miracles. It's not over. It is not over until God says it is over. And as long as there is life in your body, I declare that it is not over. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. No more struggling over the same See, I declare that that door is closed. That door has closed and will never reopen. You will not give up. This is not the end of you. This is not the end of you. God got an assignment for your life. And I declare that it will come forth now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And God, we believe that we receive by faith everything that we have put before you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. And I don't know, I didn't do this before, but if anyone just want to chime in or share your camera and you feel like God is telling you to say something, um, uh, Bashir, I believe that your daughter's exam will go great. She's going to score higher than anyone in that class. I just have faith on it. And if you just want to say something, I am definitely open. In the name of Jesus. But God, we give it to you now. We thank you for it. And I pray that you will have a beautiful rest of your day. Uh, believe by faith that what we pray, God is going to bring it to pass. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Share this video because somebody needs to hear this. Somebody is really at the end of their rope. And they're saying, God, if you don't do it now, I can't go on like this. I, I keep feeling that in my spirit. Someone is saying, I can't go on like this. This is it. This is the end of it. But I declare a decree by the power of God that it is not over. God got a calling for you and it will not. This is not the end of it. Hey, Mariah, my niece, how are you beautiful? God got a plan for your life and if it takes a miracle, I'm believing God for that miracle to happen. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen. See you tomorrow, 12 noon.